Welcome to this decision analysis tutorial for calculating posterior probabilities. Suppose in recent years, economic growth occurs 40% of the time and economic decline occurs 60% of the time. That is, probability of growth is 0.4 and probability of decline is 0.6. You're considering hiring a consultant who could either give a positive or negative report. In the past, when there was economic growth, the consultant's report was positive 65% of the time. And when there was economic decline, the consultant's report was negative 70% of the time. Notice that we can replace the word when with given in this sentence. That is, probability of positive given growth is 0.65 and probability of negative given decline is 0.7. Here is a summary of the given information. The probabilities of the states of nature at the top are called prior probabilities, that is the probabilities assessed initially or at the beginning. The 0.65 and the 0.7 probabilities are called conditional probabilities. They represent the success history of the consultant. To identify them, note that these probabilities are given the outcomes, growth and decline, whereas posterior probabilities are given the consultant's report. To calculate posterior probabilities, we will create tables for the consultant's reports, one for positive and one for negative. The tables have rows representing the outcomes or states of nature. The prior probabilities are 0.4 for growth and 0.6 for decline for both tables. The probability of positive given growth is 0.65, which goes into the conditional cell here. Some students immediately assume the probability of positive given decline is 0.35, but that is incorrect. The complement of positive given growth is negative given growth. Therefore, the correct cell for the 0.35 that is 1 minus 0.65 is the conditional cell here. Also, the probability of negative given decline is 0.7 goes to the conditional cell here. And its complement, positive given decline, is 1 minus 0.7, which equals 0.3. The joint probabilities are computed by multiplying the prior and conditional probabilities. Therefore, for positive and growth, the joint probability is 0.4 times 0.65, which equals 0.26. For positive and decline, it is 0.18. For negative and growth, it is 0.14. And for negative and decline, it is 0.42. Next, we add the joint probabilities to obtain marginal probabilities. For positive, the sum is 0.44. And for negative, the sum is 0.56. That is, the probability of a positive report is 0.44 and the probability of a negative report is 0.56. Note that the probability of positive and negative report add up to 1. To obtain the posterior probabilities, we simply divide the joint probabilities by their total. So, probability of growth given positive is 0.26 divided by 0.44, which gives 0.59. For decline given positive, 0.18 divided by 0.44, which equals 0.41. In a similar fashion, we obtain the results for growth given negative and decline given negative. Notice that the posterior probabilities add up to 1. And that's how to calculate posterior probabilities from conditional probabilities. Please leave a comment or question below and have a great day. Thank you.